getting settled in okay? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm sorry, I was trying to get your attention, but I guess, um... <laughs> I just... You're right, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry again. I just wanted to say that your house looks great. Thank you. <laughs> I love this time of year. Actually, this is my first time decorating this place. Are you trying to tell me you've never decorated for Halloween before? Because <laughs> I'm about to call bullshit. No, I mean, this is my first time here at this house. <laughs> no, it's pretty kick-ass. <laughs> I'm a Hewitt, by the way. Michelle, nice to meet you. You too, Michelle. <laughs> so, uh, you live around here in the neighborhood? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, I live, uh, right around the corner, actually. I like to take a walk around and make sure no one has a better setup than I do. Okay, well, I did say I just moved in and it's my first time decorating. <laughs> well, it, it looks great, it really does. Uh, I'll be sure to come by and check it out when it's all lit up. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. You too. <laughs> Fuck yeah, my place is gonna have a better setup than yours. <laughs> I still can't believe you haven't seen one of these before. Hey, you've been here your whole life. I just got here. <laughs> Two years doesn't count as just got here. I don't give two shits what you think, woman. Ugh, what was her name? You had the biggest boner for her. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, you're such a liar. Jenny Lee Fisher. That was her. <laughs> don't you sell yourself short. You creeped on her for an entire year and found out she had this love for bunnies. That's like stalker 100 level status. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. No. No. <laughs> it's not your fault you had like seven shots of vodka, three shots of Jaeger. You were partying with Jenny Lee. Woo! Only you forgot to think about that bowl of cereal that you had earlier that evening for dinner. And the alcohol mixed with the milk inside your bunny suit via your mouth and ass. Mm. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> And here is where we pick the finest corn, specifically for those underfilled, overcharged buckets of delicious. Hey, look. Is, uh, is it real? No, don't touch it. What? What is it? Just don't. Seriously, what is it? I don't know. I mean, I just, what if it's real and, and it's someone? Doesn't that creep you out? Oh. Babe, come on. It's going to be fine. Oh, weird. Something is weirder than playing with a human skull in a cornfield. Hey, you went to college. What, is, what does this say? Are you serious? I went to school for math. Well, someone took the time to carve all this, doesn't it look like? 
Hey. Let's just go. Oh, man. What are y'all doing here? I'm sorry, I, I've, I've never seen a cornfield before and, and my girlfriend said she knew one. You didn't see all the signs? You didn't jump the fence? Hey, take it easy. It's a cornfield. It's not Fort Knox. Don't you tell me how to take anything. You understand? Get out of here before I call the police. I swear, I'm not following you. I was just walking home. Oh. Hi. Scrapbooking? Scrapbooking? Yeah, it's when you take a bunch of stuff that's important. I know what scrapbooking is. I just never met a guy who does. We are quite savage. Pretty sure we all are. You uh, get your place all set up? This is my break between all of that. Tonight my plan is to open a bottle of wine, put on a black and white scary movie marathon, and finish up the inside decorations. That is my night. Sounds like this scrapbooking is the calm before the storm. It does, doesn't it? Nothing like taking walks down memory lane to put you in a nostalgic mood. Normally, when someone sees a person with their head in a book, they usually leave them alone. Cheers to that. Happy Halloweening tonight. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here and hit up that party. Yeah. Hey, I know this is a tough question, but are you going to wear the suit? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's that? Shirley, what is it? I don't know. Uh, didn't she say that cowgirl lady wants us off or she's gonna call the cops? We should probably get going. Oh man. It's beautiful. Take it. Somebody was probably gonna use it and just dropped it and lost it over here. It's probably that same English major who wrote that Latin we found earlier. That's Latin? She doesn't know. She's a math person. Ew. Guys, right, seriously, let's go.
So I've got this far to go to later when my friend gets back from the old cornfield. So excited. What are you going to do, Emma? Em. Yeah. Party later. Want to come? I actually hate Halloween parties. <laughs> what? Why? You gotta dress up like something terrible and scary, like a sexy scarecrow or a Playboy bunny. Yeah, those sound really terrifying. Oh, come on. Seriously, you would make a sexy as fuck like warlock or demon. Warlocks are men, loser. That's sexist. Wait, no. What's the female version of a warlock again? A witch. Yes, a witch. I love it. A sexy ass witch. Well, I actually have something to do here pretty soon, but maybe after. Okay, just be careful. People get really stupid in this town around October. I read about this guy who was skinning people in... I really don't remember the state, but it was close. Skinning people, I mean, who does that? Freaks, obviously. Yeah, no shit. It was a couple of months ago, but still. There was um, this cop, or at least that's what he said he was. He was talking about this guy who he thought it was the same person. It was like the Texas Reaper California Club or something. Mag, we really need to get you looking at different websites. Oh! Marcos, hey! Hey, Mag, I need some help. Help? Yeah, I need some help. I. Marcos, hello? Wonderful. Well, that was my friend I was supposed to go to the party with, and apparently his phone just died, so I guess I'm going solo. Last chance. Okay, well, be careful. You too, loser. Love you anyway. Okay, give it a try. Well, Marcos, your car has finally managed to fuck all of us. I just changed the oil. Well, maybe it's... Hey, can you grab a flashlight from the glove box? Uh, no flashlight. Lighter, though. Yeah, this isn't working. Well, this sucks. Yeah, and it's getting chilly out here, and I left my phone at home since the only people I talk to are here. Uh, Charlie? Yeah. Um, no service. Me either. Marco, hey! Hey, Maggie, I need some help. Help? Yeah, I need some help. I. Lost my service. So what? We just sit and wait until harvest time? I think we should go back. I don't know. It's dark. It's getting colder. I don't. I don't think we can make it back to the highway. No. I... Back to find that woman we saw earlier and ask to use her phone. She wants us off her land and the only way we can do that is if we use her phone. All right, uh, <laughs> well, I'll go. You guys stay here and I'll bring back help. Or not. Kate. It's fine. I'm just going to ask if we can use her phone. She's your girlfriend. Well, 
I'm the guy here, so I'm gonna keep working on the car. You don't know shit about cars. I know more than you, woman. Uh, just do what I tell you to do. Come on, you piece of shit. Okay, Brittany, let's give this another shot. Give some juice. Hey, Britt, give it some gas. How are you? I'm well. You know, you could have picked a place that had better, I don't know, everything? You know why I picked this place, don't be stupid. Well, I think we're gonna miss the sunset this time. Yeah. I haven't seen you in so long. Every three months, just like clockwork. I don't like it either. Don't like is an understatement. How are your classes going? I tried to get you into things you like. Yeah, they're, they're going well. I appreciate that. Better than last year. That's good. What about the new place? Do you like it? I do, very much. It's way too big for me, but that's never been any girl's problem, filling a house with things. Well, you've been there for, what, six I months now? I have been over once. Can we change that tonight? Got this bottle of wine I've really been wanting to open. It's the same one that you brought over the night we made dinner.
How are you sleeping? Take it that's no. <sighs> sleeping fine. Have some trouble here and there. Do you remember that sweater you gave me? The white one. Yeah. You were cold. I went down to my car and got it for you. You want to know a secret? Yeah. Well, I sprayed it with my cologne before I gave it to you, so you'd remember me when I took you home that night. <laughs> you didn't have to do that for me to think of you. Are you kidding? It still smells like you. What about the dark? It's fine. I haven't thought about or had the urge to do anything in a long time now. Are you sure? It's fine. Okay. Sorry. I have to ask. You know that. I do. And I am. I promise I'm doing a lot better. All right. Well, that's what I'll tell them. Every three months, I get to see you for what? Five goddamn minutes? Yeah, that's fucking fair. Yeah, but it's all we have. If it's all I can get, I'll take it. I'll see you soon. Can I buy you a drink? I haven't seen you in way too long, and I don't know if I can wait another three months. It doesn't have to be a drink, dinner, a walk. I would take anything just so I could see you. Someday. I swear. Dominic. Sometimes when I'm alone, you're all that keeps me okay. I think about those nights when we would go dancing, laughing, listening to music. We would just stay up all night. We would never sleep. I still listen to the same songs from when you were there with me. Do you still think about me? I think about you all the time. About when we kissed, the first time we kissed. About when we would lay down and how my heart would give away, how nervous I was. But you know that we can't.
Hello? Is anyone here? Hmm. It's not a cow or a horse or anything. Is that weird? I don't know. You stay here, try and find a phone or a carrier pigeon, whatever this person uses to communicate with the outside world and see if someone can send a tow truck to us. Let's just stay together and look. It's fine. Oh. She's just a cranky old woman. She's not gonna do anything. Let's just not chance it. All I'm gonna do is make a quick check of the yard. Just try and find either her or a phone. She doesn't scare me. I won't be far, and I won't be long. Just look around. I hate you. There's part of you that doesn't. Fuck 
fucking farmers. Oh, come on, lady, where are you? Probably fucking her brother, that's where. Your voice down. They're right outside. What? People that did this. There's, there's two of them that came into my house. One of them had a gun. They took everything. And they hit you? I did nothing they asked for. What do they want? Great. Glad to see you're all wakey wakey. Oh, looks like we cut you pretty good there. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't a you ask kind of thing. This is a you tell kind of thing. She's right. She's always right. So yeah, don't say anything or do anything unless we ask you to, and your face won't end up looking like ground beef. Like this guy. Why are you doing this? <sighs> See, I thought I was clear. I thought I said no talking unless we ask you to. Now you gotta pay. <laughs> now, are you gonna listen? You catch on fast. Told you she'd catch on fast. Very good. Now, we wanted to say thanks for the new TV. And the new Blu-ray players. Some of your clothes, too. That's not the point. The point is, we did some math and something is awry. See, we see you single pretty-ish, living alone in this big house with all these nice things, but no jewelry, no cash, no safe. And you know, those things, they just don't add up to me. You know, me neither. So, we want you to tell us where you keep the good stuff, the top shelf. Or, we beat you to a bloody pulp, we take our time, find it anyway, and leave. It's your choice.
have something to tell us? <laughs> I don't have a lot. But there's some money. Cash. It's in the, the living room or, or maybe the dining room. I, I can't. I'm not sure. How the fuck are you not sure where your money is? I just moved some stuff around and I can't think right now. I, I swear it's in one of those two rooms though, I swear. Good. Great! Well, we will leave you in this little shithole of a back room until we find that money. <laughs> and if we don't, it'll be bad for you. Just like it was bad for him. Right, Huey? In fact, you can help us. Maybe we won't take a fucking brick to your face if you find the money. That'll make for a great game, right? Here's the thing. I don't think you can get out of those little zip ties, but you have all these videos on the internet showing you how. I don't know if you've seen those. Have you? Do you know how to get out of those? Are you lying to me? Good. Thanks for your honesty. But if you are lying to me and we find out so many pieces, I'll be able to use you in manure. If I so much as get an itch on my dick that leads me to think that something isn't right. You'll wish you were never born. <laughs> Freddy, what the fuck? I told you not to hit me. Oh, please. You've been hit by plenty of girls before. Don't be such a little bitch about it. Get this fucking shit off me. No, no, don't smear it in case we have to send you back in there. One of you is actually going to have to hit me and bruise my face for our story to get the cops, so I won't worry about it. Let's just get to looking. Come on. Once we find the cash or the jewelry, we bring the cars in, load them up. And what about her? She's docile, scared as fuck. This makeup made me look like you guys kicked my ass. And that's the realest looking gun I'm sure she's ever seen. It better be. I paid a hundred bucks for this thing. <laughs> she bought it hook, line, and sinker. Did you see her? Yeah, when we left, she was shaking like a leaf in a hurricane. What the fuck does that mean? It means she was shaking like a fucking leaf in a goddamn hurricane. Leaf, wind, shaking. What's the complicated part? You know you say the dumbest shit sometimes and I fucking hate it when you say dumb shit. Let's just get to looking. Jesus Christ. Freddy, watch the room. If the door opens or the light goes on, we go in. You know, we can't actually hurt her. That cut she got when she fell after Jason hit her? No, we're not actually going to hit her. She just has to believe that we are. That's what keeps us in control and everybody stays safe. Who the fuck decorates their own backyard anyway? I told you, this woman loves Halloween.
How'd you know I'd be here? So where you come after every time you see her? You all right? Did they ever tell you why? Why we were assigned to each other? No, but I asked around, got some answers. They tell you to follow me? Just in case? Yeah, they did. That's funny. It's funny to think I would jeopardize my only way of seeing Emma. I'd never be that stupid. Never. You tell them that. Look, I owe you, okay? You saved my life. I, I thought... I thought I'd just... Try to make sure you're okay. I'm not trying to... Get in the way of... Whatever it is you're trying to do, but... I'm here to help, any way I can. You can help by leaving me alone. I get one night, David. One night. My night. And I don't want anybody else here. Lady, I just need to use your phone. Something happened to our car? Hello? Come on, lady, as soon as you let me use your phone, we'll get off your property. Ugh.
You know what we have to do. They started this. You know what we need to do to end it. Don't act like you don't want to. You always want this. You just try to hide it from yourself. Bury it deep down in that head of ours. But you always think about it. You love to remember. <sighs> We've been over this before. You went away. Just go back. I've always been here. Right beside you. No, I'm going to help us. You did this. You made us weak. You're pathetic. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it.
Hello? Dominic? Are you alright? I can't be alone tonight. Please come over. You know that I can't. Just for a little while, please. They'll move you. If I come over, they'll probably move you again. The house just making noises. You know the new place makes weird noises at night. I can come over, but if I do, we probably won't see each other for a really long time. No. It'll be fine. It will be fine. You're stronger now. Don't worry about the dark. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Of masks. Check this out! Shut up! What are you doing? Wow, you act like we're not robbing someone. We are not going through their things and playing dress up, all right? We're fucking robbing them! So please, act like it. What's that about? Jason, he's just a fucking idiot. Why is this? Because Jason was wearing it and he jumped from behind the corner and scared me with it, okay? Well, if he didn't act like a goddamn child all the time. Look, bitch. Oh. Well, that was brilliant. Now what? Leave him be. You said he wasn't doing much of anything, right? We might actually be able to get more done without him. Yeah, well, I just wasn't expecting that it would take this long. What if I went back in there and I scared her some more? I don't know. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm just gonna show her my gun again. Just, I, I get it, very hands-off approach. All right, but make it quick. I wanna be out of here in 30. Remember, the money. And the jewelry? How do you know she has jewelry? Man, you really are a hapless group.
Oh, sweetie. Did you really think you were going to get far?
it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm just giving you a little bit of a head start. I love you. I love you. Charlie. Why? He was a man. A long time ago. He was a man in love. He had a wife and two beautiful little girls. They lived on the outskirts of a very religious community. One day, while they were helping to build the town's church, his wife and daughters fell off the roof. The entire town saw it, and they feared the worst, but miraculously, they were unharmed. Not a single broken bone. Nobody knew how that was possible. Some of the townspeople began to wonder if something was protecting the family. One night in October, five young children from the community were killed. Their bodies were drained of blood. The parents of the children believed that the only thing that could have killed them was something otherworldly something magical, something terrible. Some members of the community went to the man's house. They dragged his wife, his daughters, and him out of their beds, strung them up to a stake, and one by one, burned them all. After having to listen and watch his family be burned alive, he was set aflame. But he did not die. The next morning, a young woman found him. He was blackened and and in unimaginable pain. She asked if there was anything she could do for him. He told her that he only wished that he could see his wife one more time and tell her how much he loved her. Suddenly he was with his family again. He asked the woman how this was possible, but she said she could do what he wanted. But first, he must do something for her. He must hunt down the men responsible for his family's death and kill them all. The next morning, he picked up an axe, put on a scarecrow's mask, went into town, and killed every man, woman, and child 
He collected their hearts and put them on stakes around the village. Once he was done, the young woman took his blood and the blood of his wife and daughters and placed it into a candle. Not just any candle, a very special candle. But what the man didn't know was that I killed those children. And now, because he had entered into a blood pact with me, he must do my bidding. Anytime the candle is lit, he must take vengeance. All who touched the candle are marked with a blood sacrifice. And he does not rest until all of them are killed. Hello. It happened again. The dark. I came. Okay. It's okay. I'll be right over. Emma. Don't move the body this time.
You understand? Okay? Okay? Freddy? Freddy, you better not be fucking around. I'm looking to pop you one to get even. Freddy, come on. I'm not messing around now. First Jason knocks himself out, and now you're lighting the fires. I thought you were better than that, Freddy. Should have come over. No, you're right. I was just trying to. I don't know. Just, 
I just didn't want them to separate us again. I can feel him here. I knew he wanted to hurt me. I wanted to hurt him more. I wanted to make him suffer. They're gonna come for me, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> what are they gonna do? taking you away from me again, ever. Come on, I gotta get back back for you. I'll be here within the hour. Fucking house.
isn't funny. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing out here? Where's Freddy? I don't know how I got here. I woke up. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel much of anything. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I've had a few names. Michelle was my favorite. So far, at least. But looks like I'll be changing that thanks to you and your friends. <laughs> what did you do to him? After I found him rudely going through my journal, I... Well, I brought him in here. Gave him an IV cocktail that I find makes people more... reasonable? More open to suggestions. I asked him what he thought a fair punishment would be for what he did to me. He was quite the liar, you know. <laughs> yes, you were. Quite the liar, weren't you? And I asked myself what kind of consequences someone like Hewitt deserves to face up to. What kind of a person lies to someone's face to beat them, rob them, and... well. 
What else were you planning to do to me? I... I don't remember. That's okay. Because I thought you were a little two-faced. <laughs> you were, weren't you? Yeah. I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got rid of one of your faces. See? It all worked out. Wait! <laughs> Where is she? Where is Freddy? She's right there. Jason, if you want to see more of her, here's more of her. <laughs> oh, Jason, come on. Don't be such a baby. You're a hardcore criminal. Beating women, breaking in and stealing. You're a badass, right? Right! I want you to look me right in the face and tell me what kind of fucking badass you are. Please. I have a daughter. I have a girlfriend. I'm all they have. Do you think that's gonna make me feel sorry for you? You think if you bring up your daughter and your girlfriend that I'm gonna... What? What?! I'm all they have. Well, that's just the saddest thing I have ever heard. That someone like you is the saving grace for these two people? You want to know what I'm going to do when I'm done here? I'm going to find your daughter. And I'm going to cut her up into little tiny pieces. And I'm going to sew her back up into whatever dumbass woman was stupid enough to sleep with you. <laughs> ah! 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 Ah!
I'm sorry. It was Hewitt's idea. He told us to follow you. He got the information on you. We were never gonna hurt you, I swear. Oh. I don't care about any of that anymore. We're past that, you and me, Jason. We only have one last thing to discuss. <laughs> the police in Texas said that I left my mask on when I had my fun. The police in Louisiana said I took my mask off. Which one was right? I don't know. I don't know. Choose. One is right and one is not. <laughs> Shoes. you got settled in all right. 